innovates engineers and serves solutions that navigate the next. This is the mission that Infosys holds itself responsible for. It is an Asian multinational company that specializes in information technology, business consulting, and outsourcing activities. Good morning, our respectable judges and audience. Greetings from the University of Hong Kong. I am Jayant, and along with my colleagues Anushka and Sana, we are Team Ace Analysis. And today, we will be talking about the Infosys impact. We will start by diving deep into the IT industry, discussing the significance of our case, followed by key milestones of Infosys. In the second half, we will throw light on the success factors that made Infosys a truly global company. Additionally, we will recommend strategies on how a, the company can turn its challenges into opportunities and successfully fulfill its motto of creating valuable impact. In 2020, due to the coronavirus pandemic, there were strict lockdowns and restrictions on mobility, which disrupted global supply chains around the world and led to one of the fastest economic drawdowns we have ever seen. As organizations pivoted from conventional channels to digital means, we saw one of the fastest economic recoveries primarily propelled by a quantum leap in digital adoption. As visualized in the graph, more customers than ever globally and in Asia started interacting digitally. It is imperative for us, therefore, to understand who builds this digital infrastructure. Hence, Infosys, a leading provider of IT services, takes a prominent role in the global growth and development. Coming to market analysis, Infosys operates in the Indian IT services sector. And as illustrated in the graph, the industry's market index, Nifty IT, has close to tripled in the last five years, gaining very strong momentum in the last year alone. Besides Infosys, key players of the, in the market include Tata Consultancy Service, Capgemini, Wipro, and HCL. Next generation technologies like big data analytics and AI, e-commerce, and favorable government policies are key drivers of the industry. Headquartered in Bangalore, India, the company has a market capitalization of over $80 billion, generating close to $3.3 billion of operating profits from their three core business units. The IT major has a balanced client portfolio and a strong clientele of over 1,600, out of which 189 are Fortune 500 companies. The diversity in the clientele enables the company to remain resilient, even in the most turbulent market atmospheres. Infosys has a glorious past. Having been founded in 1981 by Narayan Murthy, it got listed on NASDAQ in 1989. By 2008, the net profits of the company crossed $1 billion. And by 2021, it, it achieved the title of the fastest growing IT services provider after launching the cloud services. Now, Anushka will guide you through the key milestones of the company. During its initial years, Infosys faced the challenge of having very limited scope for growth since it was solely an Indian company. Recognizing the need for diverse clients and a global reputation to help the brand grow, Infosys became the first Indian company to be listed on the NASDAQ exchange in 1999. This listing gave them entry into the American market. As an outcome of the expansion, revenue figures of Infosys continued to show an upward trend with an almost 76% increase in yearly revenues before and after the listing. Also, as shown in the graph, revenue from American operations constituted a large percentage of their annual incomes. Infosys thus paved the way for other Asian companies to follow their course of globalization. The second major challenge that Infosys faced was in 1987 when they entered a joint venture with the leading consultancy firm, Kurt Salman Associates. Although initially fruitful, the joint venture soon collapsed. Simultaneously, the Indian government implemented measures to stimulate the entire IT industry. And this led to the rise of many new competitors like Tata Consulting Services and Wipro. This situation almost resulted in the company shutting down. Even in this difficult time, Narayan Murthy demonstrated resilience and continued to look for strategic partnerships and set up subsidiaries to further the business. They adopted a non-linear business model and began to de-risk their business to ensure a sustainable future scenario. 
This facilitated Infosys to capture new markets and put India on the map as a key player in the IT industry, making it a significant milestone in their trajectory. Infosys embarked on its third major milestone in recent times due to the disruption caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The dynamic situation brought about by the pandemic led to the hasty adoption of remote work, working capabilities by Infosys, with no proper infrastructure in place. This led to the low productivity and untimely termination of projects. Immediate response from the company was to shift its focus towards its client and employees. Curated solutions were designed for clients and an efficient digital working platform was created for its staff. Employees were, uh, employees' well-being was ensured through efforts in upskilling of employees and establishment of healthcare facilities. As can be seen from the graph, Infosys' stock price actually rose despite these challenges, showing investor confidence in the firm's potential. Success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. With this in mind, let us discuss the success factors of Infosys. Healthy client relations and skilled employee base. By delivering high quality products and services, Infosys has managed to retain and grow its consumer base year on year. Adaptable and agile company. Owing to its adaptability during times of uncertainty and crisis, the company is able to restructure in a time-bound manner and ensure consistent growth. Innovation at the forefront of their business model. Significant and continuous investment into research and development has helped Infosys stay abreast of the curve. Global presence. Through acquisitions of international companies, Infosys has gained access to new markets and clients. This has also ensured that geographically, Infosys isn't keeping all its eggs in one basket. Now, I will pass it on to Sana, who will elaborate on current challenges and potential solutions to overcome them. Here comes the first challenge. Although Infosys has risen to global prominence, one major setback they face is that the revenues are not diversified enough. Looking at the breakdown, we can confer that Infosys, although having regional diversity, is, is still highly dependent on Europe and US markets. A solution to Infosys would be that they should enhance their footprint in the APEC region. Now, you must be wondering how Infosys can achieve that. We believe that they can engage in more joint ventures with companies that understand the local culture. This will help Infosys increase its market share, connect with new audiences, and diversify revenues accordingly. Following this comes a second challenge. In the high-tech industry, business models are constantly changing to keep up with the dynamic market trends. Although Infosys has acquired many companies in their journey to becoming a global leader, they do face a lot of staunch competition from local players specializing in their regional field. It is facing severe competition from innovative peers, niche businesses, and mega giants due to which they lose market share. In order to overcome smaller rivals and international firms, Infosys should focus on refining their local strategies across geographies so that they can cater and connect with regional customers. They should create an integrated plan that minimizes cultural differences in order to develop necessary local market relationships. All of these recommendations will cumulatively help Infosys stay ahead of their competition even during uncertain times. Our final challenge is management issues that Infosys has been facing. They have struggled with governance lapses over the years. Claims have been made that officials in the top management have used unethical practices for personal interest. Our recommendation is for Infosys to adopt Murthy's guiding advice. When in doubt, yes, this would ensure fairness and foster development of trust between the management and employees. After going through all the challenges and recommendations, we now come to our last chapter of impact that Infosys has made. Narayan Murthy, the chief founder of Infosys is a business leader whose contribution to the Indian economy is not just a reputed IT company, but instead a leadership style that positively impacts corporate India. He demonstrates a transformational leadership style, which means that his behaviors transform and inspire employees to perform beyond expectations. Moreover, he has created an environment where employees feel secure enough to disclose their mistakes and accept criticism constructively. 
This has led to the acknowledgement and enforcement of diverse opinions, which only accelerates a company's performance. Murthy always measured performance against value and motivated his employees to work hard by providing them with fair amounts of remuneration. He was among the first to introduce an employee stock option plan, which validates that he puts the needs of all his employees, customers, and investors before any private gains. Our final part is the implication that Narayan Murthy has had and the footprint that he has left. His leadership style is truly inspirational and hence he is an exemplar for the industry. His values of integrity and ethics is also an ideal value system that should be imbibed by students. Finally, he has changed the way the world views India by revolutionizing the country's position as a prominent global player in the IT industry. With this, we would like to conclude by saying that Infosys ushers in an era where digitalization is the key to transformation. Thank you. And now we are open to any questions.